Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I did my brows off camera to save time because you know how that goes. And yeah, I'm back doing tutorials. I figure I might as well because I still love doing my own makeup. So why not record it for you guys? So I'm moisturizing my face with the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream because you guys know that's my favorite. Hopefully I'm not saying guys all throughout this video, but you never know. Priming my eyes with the P. Louise base in the shade Zero and buffing that out with the Wet n Wild eyeshadow brush. For my first shade, I'm going to take this red shade here from the James Charles palette on a Morphe M505 and I'm going to be tapping that into my crease as well as blending it upward. We're going to be trying to make a, I guess you could say like a half circle in our crease, just to like lay out our, um, lay out our halo eye. While you're adding this color, you are going to want to blend out the edges, so just tap the edges as you're going along as well. To diffuse the edges even further, I'm going to take this yellow shade from the Juvia's Place Zulu palette on a BH Cosmetics 101 brush and lightly diffuse the edges of that. To make sure everything is blended, you want to go back in with the red and blend it into the yellow even more. M514 taking this orange shade here from the Juvia's Place Zulu palette. I'm gonna place that in between the yellow and the red to make a perfect blend. You're gonna have to go back and forth between these shades a few times to make sure it's blended, but take your time. You don't want to over blend and make everything look like one color. Taking the shade Bark from the Morphe Bling Boss palette on the same Morphe M505, I'm going to deepen that red even more. I'm basically just trying to create en enough depth so when I cut my crease, it pops. For this shade, you want to focus it mainly into the crease and just a little bit above where you're going to cut it. Like before, we're gonna go in with the previous shades and make sure everything is blended perfectly. shade I'm gonna take the shade mystic on the same Morphe M505 we're gonna place that just a little bit lower than the previous shade this is going to be our darkest shade for this look to cut my crease I'm using the P. Louise base in the shade number two or number two or point five I can't actually remember on a paintbrush that I got from Michaels um I don't really have a tutorial on how to do this I'm gonna try my best to film one for you guys um we'll see what happens so yeah I cut my crease and now I'm just taking a random brush and patting off the extra base so it goes on flawlessly when I add the eyeshadow. Now going into the reverse order basically is what you're gonna do. Morphe M505, taking the shade Mystic and I'm gonna pat that in the, eye, the inner and outer corner to start our halo eye. Going 
going to be the red shade again from the James Charles palette, patting that on the edge of the previous shade. So we're not going to put it on top. Um, we're going to basically work our way inward, patting on the edges of the previous shade. <laughs> You can use like a small eyeshadow brush for this or a really precise concealer brush. I just find that my Morphe M505 works for me. Um, just get it done faster in my opinion, but use whatever brush you're comfortable with. And yeah, this is the part where I'm like, I should probably leave it like this. And then I decided not to. So we're gonna go in with the yellow shade again from the Juvia's Place palette and tap that in the center of my lid. Now, um, this is how I did it, but if you maybe have a hard time blending shades, I would say go in the opposite order where you would put the orange first and then go in with the yellow. Just leave space for the yellow. Um, I'm used to doing this, so I don't mind, but that's just what I would recommend. So how I'm adding the orange as the last color I would do that before I place the yellow if you're just not too great at blending on the lid just yet. Now, if you do make the mistake of adding maybe too much orange or too much yellow, just take your time and go back in with those shades and pack it on where you need them to be don't add too much at one time take your time because then it's going to be patchy and powdery and it's not going stick i have nyx matte black liner off camera and some mascara my benefit bag out bang I also did my other eye off camera to save on time and now we're going on to the face. To prime, I'm using the Benefit Professional Hydrate. I'm almost done with this. I really don't want to buy another one yet. But it's so worth it. You guys, if you haven't tried it yet, give it a try. foundation today i'm gonna mix my anastasia beverly hills luminous foundation in the shade 500 and my born this way foundation by Too faced in the shade tiramisu for me like shout out to eva for putting me onto this combination because i love them both by themselves but together immaculate okay if you guys have both and you want to try something something new mix them together and you found your perfect foundation literally um, but yeah, I'm blending that out with the Real Techniques Instapop Cheek Brush. shade spice rum and chai and i'm gonna use this beauty blender mini that i got and blend it out my black opal foundation stick in ebony brown I almost said bronze ebony brown and contour my face Just 
it up with the powder today, I'm going to be using my Crayon Case Chalk the Setting Powder. And honestly, I really love the way this came out. Like, it really made my under eyes look airbrushed. So, I might have to start sharing my face with this ABH. You might have to start, you know, sharing me. And for bronzer, I'm going in with my Morphe Glam Bronze bronzer in the shade Leader. And to dust off that extra bake, I'm going to just use my foundation brush and tap it into my skin. It's winter time guys, so I don't really need an extra like a pressed setting powder on my skin. I don't need my skin to be that matte during this time of the year. But if you do, feel free to just add whatever pressed powder you use to this step. Now I'm gonna spray my face just to get that powdery look off. And I'm gonna take this Nikia Nikita K blush. I found the beauty supply store, it was like $1.99 and it looks really good. I was surprised very shit. Um, going in with the ABH Sugar Glow Kit and I forgot the name but I'm going to put the picture on the screen so you can see that's the shade that I use. This is a Morphe highlighting brush by the way. Popping on these lashes. And these lashes are from Blinks by Brie Chanel. I mentioned her in one of my other recent videos. Her lashes honestly are bomb. And you guys know this because if you watched any of my tutorials for the last year or so, I've only worn mine. So, shout out to you. I'm gonna need another pair, so just hit me up when you see this. <laughs> for her um, lip liner, I'm using the uh, I think this is also Nikia K Beauty Supply Store Automatic Lip Liner in the shade Dark Brown. And for liquid lip, I'm using the ABH Liquid Lipstick in the shade Naked. Naked? Yeah, in the shade Naked and my color, my ColourPop Gloss. The name rubbed off, but I'm going to um, put the name in the description bar down below when I figure it out. And to set my face, I'm using my Morphe Luminous Setting Mist. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching my video. And thank you for being patient with me because it's been a while since I posted a tutorial. I just haven't been in, you know, the makeup creative mood. But, yeah, I'm back in back in my little groove out of my rut so i'll be posting more tutorials on my channel as well as other related videos so stay tuned for those don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one